Hello, what's up guys? James St. Michael here. I hope y'all are doing well. I know it's been about a minute since I've uploaded something, but in all fairness, I have been rather preoccupied with trying to complete this EP that I'm working on, as well as the single that's going to be releasing soon within the next few days called Smile on Spotify and iTunes. So I can't wait for you guys to see that. I've also been updating and uh, building the website that is going to be, uh, I'm going to be migrating JSM Beats 2, which will be jamesandmichael.com. I'm just going to have a whole lot more content. It's going to be much more cool and much more interactive. It's going to be awesome. But that's the gist of what I've been working on the past few weeks. But nonetheless, in those past few weeks, I've actually updated the studio a bit. So that's what this video is about. I wanted to essentially give you guys an update as to a few of the new uh, toys and gear I've been working with and you know just my review on the few things that I've been blessed to accumulate over the past few weeks as well as include an unboxing of a brand new piece of gear that I have that has been used across many many genres from you know Michael Jackson to The Weeknd and all periods of time very legendary piece of equipment, very, not too expensive, but still, you know, immediate in there, about the intermediate range. But yeah, that's what I wanted to do in this video. So let's go. So this is the first piece of gear, ladies and gentlemen. This is the new chair for the studio. Yes, it's the one I was sitting on and it is clean as hell. I love this thing. It is awesome. The last chair I was sitting in, I had for about six years and it was time to say goodbye to that chair um this one is just awesome my beautiful queen actually went out and grabbed it for me uh one random day i believe it was from office depot and it, they have them there for like 225 but actually got it on sale for like 149 um but yeah i love this thing because of the stitching on it and the race uh you know form that it has to it the shape and design of it this headrest is extremely comfortable um i'll be honest it doesn't have a lot of lumbar supports like this right here it's not that most comfortable um but you get used to it the cushion though is incredible and these armrests are just killer i love these armrests they're clean sleek and they're very comfortable and very sturdy um the stitching is awesome I'm a big, you know, car lover, so the whole race car design was just perfect for me. Um, it came, you know, and it it was super easy to assemble. It's got very awesome, like, chrome steel legs that just are very, very heavy and durable. Uh, easily, I could see this thing lasting me just as long another six years. I love this chair. It's incredible. I don't know who makes exactly off the top of my head but i'll leave a link to it in the in the description um but this chair is the first first addition to the studio because the last one was just going out on me <laughs> i was like nah ain't gonna do that no more luckily my queen was nice enough to go out and grab it for me so yeah that is uh the first piece of equipment right there second piece of equipment that i was extremely excited to get that just came on the market the second that i uh, was ready to make a jump for it were these bad boys these are the brand new yamaha hs8s in this slate gray color with uh the white tweeter, the white um uh, speaker still uh basically it's the same thing as the hs8s the blacks but now you've got this cool gray color on it and it just looks so awesome i love it and uh here's the second one right here um, these things are sick. I don't know how else to say it. They sound really awesome. I had the KRK VXT8s before and they were great. They sounded great, but these, these are awesome. I feel like the bass response on these are more accurate in my room than the, and then the VXT8s were by KRK. And they just really, I'll be honest. I got them cause they fit my studio more look wise, but I heard a lot of great reviews about their sound and the accuracy. So I took the lunge and I sold the other ones and then um, picked these up and they sound incredible. Really, really awesome. Uh, I don't have any, any complaints about these whatsoever. Hands down, I'm going to be using these for about the next five to ten years, no doubt. Fourth update. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going FL, baby. Y'all are going to see some videos of me using FL Studio now. Uh, this one is very special to me because it's very nostalgic to me. Like I said, first started making music when I was 13 and this was my first doll. And so it's got a very special place in my heart and my soul. So I'm going to go ahead and 
you know, start using this here and there. And, uh, you know, if it works out, it works out. And I'd love to share what content I create and, uh, you know, whatever music we can come up with in this DAW and, uh, you know, see where it takes us. For the fifth update to the studio, we now have in the studio, the legendary SM7B microphone by Sure. Oh my gosh. I have been waiting to get my hands on one of these for months now. Luckily, <laughs> yet again, my queen and lovely darling went out and got it for me as an anniversary gift. So thank you, my brother. So now I get to use this bad boy. And the reason why I wanted this was because one, in my room, as you can tell, there isn't much acoustic treatment in here. If y'all have gone to Guitar Center or Sweetwater or Sam Ash and have looked for acoustic panels to buy, that sucker costs like $600 for six panels, and that's great and all, but I'm not trying to spend $600 on six panels. So my best alternative was to look for a mic <coughs> that had a lot of noise. Uh, I forgot what this specific term is, I'm sorry. Noise rejection. I needed a mic that had a lot of noise rejection from frequencies that were bouncing off the walls in here because it is completely not the most ideal recording space. Uh, I also needed something that would not pick up for the moment the AC or the heater. That sensitive ass, you know, super, super powerful condenser microphone will pick up that air and it'll get into the actual recordings and it just, it, it adds to the noise floor. It becomes a mess and it's so hard to process it out. It's, it's really, really annoying. But this is the answer, I'm hoping. I used this one in LA and there was something I liked about it and there was something I didn't. But what I appreciate about it the most was that it was very quiet. It did not pick up anything other than my voice. My hope is that with enough processing, I will be able to use this mic and still get a very professional clean sound. I mean, after all, The weekend used it. They used it on Michael Jackson uh, back when he recorded Thriller. I mean, how could you go wrong with it? So without further ado, Let's unbox it. So here's the mic, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take it out right here. Let's just see what do we get. We got some uh, accessories here, with the stickers, a little documentation. I'm gonna hold on to that. And uh, yeah, some documentation. SM7B user guide, polar patterns, Japanese, because I don't read Japanese. I'm just gonna trust they have an English section, of course. Looks good, I'm not gonna bother with that. And here we are. Let's pop this bad boy. No, we'll open up this first. Pop up the phone, right there. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, that's cool. Not sure, oh cool, that's a sure. Looks like a cable tie of some sort. That's awesome, that is so cool. That just looks awesome. Thank you, sure. I'm already liking these little bonus accessories here. Whoa, there it is, the sure SM70. Oh, so beautiful. Ooh, I'm guessing this is for the back plate. Let's take a look at her. Gosh dang, it's kind of like a heavy mic. Dang, sweet. Let's take her out. Oh, yeah. There, dang. Oh, man, I already got my fingerprint on it. Oh, it goes away. Good. But look at that. Wee. Looks clean. Oh yeah. One of my favorite artists currently, Eden. Uh, he uses this mic and it's, it just matches his sonic character and his genre so perfectly. One of the big reasons that pushed me onto this uh, mic. Found out he used an SM7B, but this thing is just awesome. Looks so cool. Not your normal looking mic, but I'm really feeling it. And we've got right here, XLR connector. This is where it screws onto the mic. Oh, did I forget? Update number six. Eh, not really much of an update. You already know what we had to do. Had to go out and get a brand new mic stand. Ultimate support, baby. So, yep, new little, new little upgrade. I'm gonna be placing that mic here on the Pro R series. Did some research on it and it was between either this or the DR Pro. In the end, this one looks so much more easier to use, so I wanted to go ahead and go with this. 
And this is the mic stand we're gonna be popping this bad boy on right now. So let's get to it. update the damn stand is broken it would seem i don't know about you but any stand that costs 80 bucks when it's got this clamp feature and it's in there you should be able to just pull on it like so and not have the tube come out and when i look in it you can't really tell but there's a broken metal piece in there that you can't really see if it would autofocus. The broken metal piece in there. And that's just a tragedy. So, despite the whole issue with the ultimate support stand not quite working out right out the box, my guess is it was just a defective unit. I read nothing but great reviews, but nonetheless, despite all that, I ended up finding this extra small little desk tripod that I had laying around. I think it just looks great in the studio. I think it fits perfectly and works well um, with uh, you know the whole design and the simplicity of the you know the color scheme that I've got going on here. I heard it, I listened to it, I record on it, man. I can't tell you, you ain't got one of these things, and you're looking to get a serious recording microphone take a second and just skip the whole condenser thing and just come take a look at this. If you are looking for a series vocal microphone and you are looking at condensers, that's a fair thing to do. But take it from someone who thought condensers were the only answer, this microphone is the exemption. This microphone is the answer if you want to be able to get an incredible, professional, clear vocal or any kind of clear audio source with no background sound, no uh, self noise that raises the noise floor, nothing but clear, clean audio. Go get yourself one of these. But with that said, I'll go ahead and cut it off here. I appreciate you guys coming, stopping by and listening. I hope y'all's creativity is growing and getting more exciting as well. And I just can't wait to see what you guys are coming out with. So if you want to go ahead and leave that down in the description so we can all check out each other's work, that would be awesome. As well as if you have any ideas of what you want to see first, whether it's some FL Studio videos, or if you want to see the review on the SM7B or the HS set or the Yamaha HS8s, let me know, I'll pop that out for y'all. Nonetheless, I hope y'all take care. Have a good one, and peace. Better fast.